Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.4 and DECA Ironworks Simulations JF17 Thunder Module. Welcome to Addendum 2, HSD Lines. In the most recent 2.9.4 update, DECA Ironworks Simulations have added the ability to draw two polygons on your HSD. This can be done in three different methods. You can either do it in the Mission Editor, you can do it in the F10 map, or you can define them via a Lua file. All of these end up getting um, integrated into your DTC cartridge and loaded at the time when you load your DTC. You can change which of the three methods you're going to use uh, for loading your lines using the configuration panel, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. Uh, these two polygons, uh, Polygon A and Polygon B, are coloured. Polygon A is purple and can have up to 10 points. Polygon B is cyan coloured and can also have up to 10 points. In the case of creating these in the mission editor or in the Lua file, they can be either open or closed polygons. A closed polygon, you know, would define like a closed shape. An open polygon would be a line. In the case of the F10 map, you don't have the option for them to be closed. Sorry, to be open, in fact. You can't draw lines on the F10 map. You can only create a complete closed polygon. Uh, that's the only downside there. Uh, in the case of the mission editor, you can actually define these two polygons for each coalition. If you're going to have JF-17s in each of the three coalitions, that being blue, red, and neutral. And so the way that you name them is, is different in order to uh, state which coalition they're for. I'll demonstrate this just now. So uh, if you're doing it in the mission editor, of course, only the person who creates the mission has the ability to do this. Uh, you can go into the draw menu in the mission editor, and you want to make sure that you're in line and segments mode. Um, I'm going to do a purple one. Actually, it doesn't matter what color you use here, but I'm going to use the same color that they'll display as on the HSD. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a little box here over Cyprus. And once I've done my last point, I can simply press escape. And then I can go back into the draw menu and select this line. It's showing up as line five here. Now the naming scheme will control which coalition this will appear for and whether it's the purple or the cyan polygon. Um, it begins with a B if it's for the blue side, it'll be an R if it's for red, and it'll be an N if it's for neutral. You then type KY, I don't really know why, and then either A or B, depending on whether it's the A or the B polygon. Once again, A will be purple, B will be cyan. This is going to be the A uh, the A uh, polygon. So I'm, I'm typing B, K, Y, A. Uh, I'm going to choose that I want this one to be closed, and that will then close the, the polygon for me. I could have left it open, and then I could just draw a line. Uh, I'm now going to go ahead and draw another polygon, and this will be the B polygon. I'm just going to make it look like this. Again, I can hit escape. I can go to draw. I'm going to choose line six, and I'm going to call this one B, K, Y, B and this will be my cyan polygon. As such, I'm going to color it in that way, and I'm going to close this one as well. We now have two polygons created in the mission editor for the blue uh, coalition. Like I said before, we could put an R in front for red and an N in front for neutral. With that done, uh, you know, th these won't actually appear in the mission unless I choose that I want them to using the standard controls. I'm going to leave these as hidden. Um, and uh, we will then go ahead and load this in the aircraft. You'll join me in the cockpit in just a moment. Okay, you join me in the cockpit, and uh, we have a, a hot aircraft. This has already been started up. I chose um, Start Parking Hot. And uh, what we're going to have to do first is take a little look at the configuration panel. So if I open up the radio menu, and I go to Ground Crew, and then I choose Configuration Panel, you'll see that we now have this option for airspace. Um, so if I click on this just now, we have options for Mission, F10 Label, Preset, which is the Lua file, or Clean. Uh, in the Clean configuration, it will never load these airspaces. I'm going to leave it in Mission for just now, and we're going to go ahead and load the, the lines that were included in the mission. So I click Apply, and if I, if I focus down on the HSD just now, you'll notice that we've got nothing, uh, because by default we haven't done the DTC load. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and insert my cartridge. That should then cause the DTC page to appear on the left. I'm going to choose All Data and press Enter. And after a short delay, 
we should have our flight plan and also our polygons. There we go. That has in fact worked. Let's bump out the range here and we can see, what? let's cancel that master caution, we can see those two polygons that I loaded, polygon A in purple, polygon B in cyan. Excellent. So for my next trick, let's go ahead and do the F10 map. Uh, let's jump into F10. I'm going to just draw one polygon just to demonstrate how that's done. And the labeling of these polygons are slightly different because you can only create a polygon for yourself using the F10 map. So if I choose a marker and I drop, for example, a marker here, I need to call it J, K, Y, and then either A or B, and a number because these are made up of multiple points. So I'm going to have JKYA1 G, wow, I can't even say this. J -K -Y -A -1 there. I'm going to make JKYA2 over here. And then down here, I'll make JKYA3. And that's me made a basic polygon. Your polygons need to have more than two points when using the F10 map because they cannot be open. It needs to create a closed polygon shape when using the F10 map. You only have the option of doing an open one uh, if it's the Lua file or the, the mission editor file. So that's done. I can return to the cockpit now. And if I go ahead and go ground crew, configuration panel, I can change airspace to the F10 label and press apply. There we go. You can see the ground crew confirm. Switch airspace source to F10 label. As always now, I need to open the cockpit Warning. And uh, I can then go to ground crew menu, update DTC data, and update DTC data. Oh wait, actually I need to eject the cartridge first, because I need to hand it to them. So I've ejected the cartridge, update the data. Warning. Copy. Updating the DTC data. They're going to hand me the new one. DTC update complete. DTC is complete. Let's go ahead and close the canopy again because it's a little bit noisy out there. There we go. And we're all sealed up. Let's go ahead and insert that cartridge. It says DTC checking. We can choose all. You'll notice that it only selects the items that have changed or could have changed. We press enter and let's just watch the HSD. You'll see that my new polygon will load. There we go. We only had the one. We had the, the A polygon or the purple one. So that's worked nicely. Lastly, we can try it from the preset file. Now I'm going to show you how to load it from the preset file first, and then I'll show you what the preset file looks like and where it's stored. So ground crew, configuration panel, we're going to choose preset and apply. Switch air source uh, to preset. We're then going to open the canopy again. Warning. We're going to eject this cartridge. Warning. We're going to tell the ground crew to update DTC. Warning. Copy. Updating the DTC now. DTC update complete. Okay, we have a new cartridge. Let's go ahead and close this and insert the new cartridge. DTC is locked. We choose all and we choose enter. And you should then see that the the polygons will change again. This time I've defined a line and a closed polygon here, and those are showing up on the HSD. So those are the three methods. Um, as you can see in the configuration panel, you've got mission, F10, preset, and clean. The clean option will give you just a completely blank set of airspace lights. Well, you won't have any airspace lights. That's the short version. Uh, okay, now we're going to jump to Notepad++, and I'll show you what the Lua preset looks like. Okay, so hopefully this shows up okay on screen. Uh, I've got Notepad++ up. This is the, the Lua file that you need to edit. Note that there is an example given for you in... Um, it's in your DCS installation folder under Mods, Aircraft, JF-17, and Dock. So it's in the standard Dock folder for the JF-17. Um, it's basically just uh, a bunch of JSON, if you're familiar with JSON. And you can see that I've defined my B, K, uh, Y, A. So actually in the Lua file, you also can do blue, red, and neutral uh, coalitions, just like you can do in the mission editor. I've defined one for the blue co coalition, polygon A. I've told it that it's not closed, it's false on closed, and then I give the points. 
Now, the, the, the way that you do the points, the format looks a little bit weird, uh, but it is actually just the standard um, degrees, minutes, seconds, decimal. However, for some reason, the decimal point is after the degrees uh, rather than at the actual decimal point. I don't really understand. But anyway, if you do this format, it does work. So I've defined two points which are open, and you saw that it created a line. And then for B, K, Y, B, I've created a closed set of points, and this gave me my polygon. Now, very important, you need to put this file into your, your main DCS world folder. This is actually not in your saved games folder. I've mentioned in the forums, I think this is not a good idea, but anyway, under mods, aircraft, JF17, doc, and then you need to make a folder called airspace. Now, your Lua file needs to be named, this is also mentioned in the example file, customer, I guess that's supposed to actually be custom, but there's a bad translation going on here. Customer, all lower space, air with a capital A, space with a capital S, underscore, and in the name of the map that it's intended for. In my case, it's Syria with a capital S, dot Lua. So uh, I made customer airspace Syria, dot Lua, and I put it into this folder. And as you saw, it worked. Uh, and you can have one of these files for each map. And um, as with the mission editor, you can define a blue, a red, and a neutral coalition set of airspaces. Hope that was useful. Thank you all for watching.